Super Mario 64, a classic among the library of the Nintendo 64. And with such a landmark of a title, there's bound to be plenty to be discovered within the cartridge. In the last month, new discoveries have been made that could hint to there being more to the game than initially thought. Tonight, I'll be discussing some of the most unexplained and eerie secrets that lie within Super Mario 64. In the courtyard behind Peach's castle, there is a fountain with a star on top of it, as well as a plaque with an engraving. Many players have interpreted this as saying one of two things, Eternal Star or El is Real 2401. Many have assumed that this somehow hints to the ability to unlock Luigi in Super Mario 64. However, there has been no concrete evidence to support this. Some have speculated that there is an eternal clock inside of the actual cartridge that's counting down, and in the year 2401, Luigi will be unlocked. The only way to prove it is just to wait. Once you reach the higher levels of Peach's castle, you encounter a vast circular room with many doors in it, with another staircase that leads to the even higher regions of the castle. But before that stairwell is a sign that reads, Shh, please walk quietly in the hallway. Now what could this mean? Why would you need to walk quietly in the hallway? As you know, Mario is pretty much the only one that's left in the castle, aside from whatever toads have been freed. So what is the concern to be quiet in the halls? No one knows. And quite frankly, I'm terrified to find out. Once you achieve 100% completion in Super Mario 64, the cannon in the castle courtyard unlocks and it allows you to reach the actual roof of the castle. Once up there, you meet with Yoshi, and then once he gives you the one-ups, he leaps off the roof of the castle, presumably into the moat below. Now, what was implied here is that perhaps Yoshi has killed himself, because in the sequel, Super Mario Sunshine, all the Yoshis that you encounter actually disintegrate once they touch the water. So did Yoshi kill himself? In the level Big Boo's Haunt, there is a slim chance that you will hear a rare secret Boo's laugh. There has actually been a recorded incident of this. Take a listen. But still. Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, what? Did anyone just hear that? Many have tried to speculate on why this sound happens to no avail. Perhaps there's another secret boo lurking within the Big Boo's Hunt that we have not encountered yet. There's a theory going around that Hazy Maze Cave is actually the septic system of the castle itself, given the pipes that surround the entrance to the arena, and then you have the gaseous poison that Mario can breathe in, presumably Peach's farts, and then these rolling boulders. What could this be? Well, perhaps. Peach and Bowser's poop mixed together. There is a rumor of an old build of Super Mario 64, known as the 1995 July 29th build. With a huge warning not to research it, many have tried to delve into its secrets, and none have come up with anything, and some people have even gone missing. The secrets that lie behind this unused build of the game have haunted gamers for years, and it leads one to wonder what was wrong with this build, and why should you not research it? 
for this next entry, I'll be reading an excerpt from the notorious hacker website 4chan to give you a proper exposition. Every copy of Mario 64 is personalized. Nintendo's experimental AI adapts and subtly creates a slightly altered version of the game tailored specifically for you, appealing to you subconsciously in ways you don't even notice, as well as attempting to mess with you and study how you react to it. Have you ever played someone else's copy of Mario 64? Have you ever felt like something was just a little bit off? That's why. That's how. This is much more than just a simple experimentation that procedural generation, however. There are many layers to this, and some of them are more sinister and malicious than others. Super Mario 64, at its core, is an insidious and evil work of human creation. <laughs> Mario Apparition was created from the subconscious wishes to see him in Mario 64 that the shared desire caused him to appear as a horrifying half-start in some copies of the game. That image is what it's supposed to look like, but those who encountered it in-game can't even describe what it looked like, as many suffer from memory loss and stroke-like symptoms. If you suspect you're seeing it in-game, it suggests that you shut the console off immediately because once you give it power by witnessing it, it gains power to begin manifesting itself in your <laughs>